Hello, we're lay for giving us this soup. As the song says, if you don't have money, you can't prepare this soup. This is due to the different permutations and combinations of obstacles, that is meat and fish, that is added to this soup. The great Ofo Oweri. To prepare Ofo Oweri, you will need different kinds of meat. Have I said that before? Yeah, I have beef, cow skin, and snails. Oweri people, which meat is missing here? Bush meat? <laughs> you need two vegetables, okazi and ogo, that is Nigerian pumpkin leaves. For thickening the soup, you will need coco yam. Then for dry fish, I'll add dry cod, that is stockfish, and dry catfish. Crayfish, habanero pepper, palm oil, and seasoning cubes. Full list will be in the description box below this video. First, rinse the coco yam, put in a pot, pour water to cover them, and start cooking. This takes a while. So you need to start cooking them coco yams early. Then rinse and cook the beef, cow skin, stockfish and snail. I am cooking them all together in one pot because they have the same cooking times with my pressure pot. I now know exactly how to cook them to perfection with this pot. Follow the instructions for your own pot when doing this. If I were using a normal pot, I would steam the meat without adding water. While doing that, you will see some water seep out from the beef. Yes, beef contains lots of its own water. It's only after that that I will add more water and cook till done. For more information on that, click the link that pops up above to watch my Edikain Kong soup video. I explained all that in detail over there. Put the dry fish in a container, pour water to cover them and set aside to soften. For the most palatable, enjoyable meals, this is how I pick my ogo. Adding that thick ogo stock? No, I don't want to bite into sticks while I'm eating. Pick the okazi the same way. Then rinse both very well in plenty of water. Separately, don't mix them. Cut the okazi into very thin slices. I mean very thin. These ones are not even thin, so make sure you do a better job than I did, okay? The market women in Nigeria usually slice it much thinner. I just do not like cutting my vegetables in the market. Who is with me on this? Cut the ugu into tiny pieces. Check the coco yam from time to time and top up the water if necessary. Check several of them because one may be done while so many others are not done. This is the case at this time. Some of them are still hard to touch, so I continue cooking. The fish should be soft by now. Debone and break it into pieces. Rinse very well several times. Sometimes, depending on the state of the fish, I even use a brush to clean them. You can see that in some of my other Nigerian soups recipes videos. So clean the dry fish very well. You don't want sand in your soup. I check the coco yam again.
can you see that sexy dimple that forms when i press hard on it that's a sign that it is done peel and pound them in a mortar If you don't have a mortar, you can use your blender, but your blender must be powerful enough to handle this. It's the same process as how I made yam with a blender. Add the cooked and peeled cocoa yams into your blender and blend away. Blend a small quantity at a time so that you don't fry your blender. Remember, your blender needs to be powerful enough to start with. Click the link that pops up on the screen right now for details of how to do that. Pound, pound, pound till it's sticky and stretchy like this with no lumps. All the ingredients are ready, let's get cooking. If you have ever prepared bitter leaf soup in your life, it is the same process. The only difference between ofoware and bitter leaf soup is the vegetable used in cooking the soup. These are the cow skin, beef, snail and stockfish that I cooked earlier. They are already done at this time. Add the crayfish, the dry fish, cover and leave it to boil. Add palm oil. Then add the kokoyam in small lumps. A lot of people are new to my channel due to my village vlog series. You are welcome to the family. We don't just live the village life here, we also eat some delicious meals on this channel. The way we do on this channel is that I do my part by preparing and uploading detailed, well-explained, absolutely free recipes for you and you do your part by liking and sharing the video. I've done my part. Have you done your part? Have you liked this video yet? Have you? No? What are you waiting for? Madre mia! Cover and continue cooking on high heat. As soon as I see that I've achieved the consistency I want or it looks like I have, that should be moderate consistency. I remove the lumps of cocoa yam that have not yet dissolved. It does not go to waste because you can eat that as a fufu meal. I have a recipe for cocoa yam fufu. I have a lot of recipes on this channel. Stay very well. Add the pepper, add the okazi, the ogo. Do you see how I'm spreading them out? Cover and continue cooking. Once it boils again, stir very well. Add salt if necessary. Stir. Take it off the stove and transfer to a cool container immediately. Who can tell me why we need to transfer to a cool container immediately? I want to know those that have been paying attention to my tips and tricks. What would you eat this delicious ofo were with? Let me know in the comments by commenting. I will eat this ofo were with apple, semo, gare, otaraji, whatever. Let me know in the comments. Bye bye. See you soon.